Hi, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, you guys, so for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you. So we are going to do, um, I'm really just going to pull the cards today, you guys. I'm going to pull the cards. We're going to see what comes out. We're really going to be focusing more on love. Um, yeah, so let's just see. Those of you guys that are new, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. If you um, have not subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. For all of my new subscribers, every single month, we do a giveaway where we choose one winner and the winner wins a free reading. And if you want to participate in more giveaways, then feel free to um, follow me on Instagram where we do giveaways every single week for questions, extended, as well as free readings. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, so on Instagram, we also do every single week, we do a new thing. So we're doing this... Um, it's a pop-up giveaway. So pretty much I'm going to pop up in a live video on Instagram. Follow me and turn on your notifications so that you are aware because I am not going to announce this. This is really just pop-up so that everybody kind of gets a fair chance. Whoever needs it the most, I feel will, you know, be available and, um, you know, either on Instagram or have the notification where they're able to see it at the moment that the lives start. And what I do is I answer 15 free questions every single week. And um, usually I start off with a little bit of a reading, a general reading for the day for those of you guys to, you know, get a chance to access. And then I start off with the questions. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So, well, okay, so I started doing your reading yesterday, actually, and then I stopped because I didn't feel completely aligned, and then I started again today. So yesterday I was using a different deck, so this is what happened. I pulled the first card, and it was, I, I really felt like you needed this one, but I'm using a different deck today, but I still want to tell you the card that I pulled yesterday because it was strong. So it was the Page of Swords. You guys definitely have a lot of people watching you right now. There's a lot of people who have their eyes on you. There's a lot of people that are wanting to come back in your life. There's a lot of people that aren't, you know, wanting the best for you, but somehow they still want to be a part of your life. They want to be part of what it is that you have going on here. And I'm hearing that you guys need to be guarded. You guys need to keep yourself a little bit guarded. Um, keep your projects to yourself. Keep the things that you're working on to yourself because there are some people that are just nosy. And then there are other people that don't want you to succeed, especially if it's somebody who had done you wrong in the past. It's almost like they don't understand the fact that they're in the wrong they especially if you walked away from somebody who did you wrong it's like they're just like how dare they walk away from me how dare they you know how dare they glow up after walking away from me they thought that your world was going to be crumbled and now they're trying to do whatever it can whatever they can to get you on their level but what they don't realize is this is karma this is the karma that they created for themselves as to why they are in the situation that they're in and for you as to why you're rising as to why you know amazing things are happening to you it's because that is your karma so this person can try to mess with you all they want but it's not going to affect you to a certain extent because I do feel like this person has such evil um malicious intent that I think they can mess up your energy I don't think they could stop your flow but I think they can attach their energy onto your energy so do be careful of anybody coming back from the past um this is you know air energy so for some of you it could definitely be a Gemini Aries or Aquarius but I definitely feel like Aries maybe you're dealing with another Aries Mm, that's not fun <laughs> that would be so intense like oh my gosh I feel like if an Aries and an Aries dated and they broke up they would definitely be that couple where they would be like they would feel the need to race on who the heck gets the next person first like whoever moves on first is the winner you know what I mean it would always be a race everything would always be a race who's the best who's you know what I mean I feel like it would be too much <laughs> But um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I said Aries though, so some of you guys, this definitely is another Aries, and some of you guys, you're cross-watching, and this is your Aries trying to get back in your life, like, you think that your Aries is coming back in your life because they want to be back with you and blah, 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 but really, this person has a plan for you, and I'm hearing you're going to look stupid if you take them back, so that's just the message I got, but I did get this deck gifted to me, and I've wanted this deck for so long so I was like no I have to use this deck I just have to for this week so 
I am just so excited to use this deck. I'm so, so excited. Somebody's telling me to use this. I actually was gifted this deck as well. I was gifted this deck um, by the owner of the deck. Such a beautiful deck here. It is called Messages from Mermaids by Karen Kay. And she had gifted me this deck and she also gifted me Oracle of the Fairy. Her artwork is very, very beautiful. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I was gifted this deck from one of you guys and I, it didn't come with a message. Usually it comes with a message to show me, you know, who gifted the decks and this one didn't. So whoever uh, purchased this for me, please reach out to me so that I can thank you personally. Um, I appreciate you so much and everybody else who had purchased a deck for me. I truly appreciate you guys because um, I had received a couple of them and I do thank you everybody who does it whenever I use the deck in the video so if I haven't thanked you in a video it's because I haven't used the deck yet but I appreciate you guys and those of you guys who are interested in adding a deck to the channel then feel free the link will be in the description box um below all right so let's just continue you guys I kind of felt called to do something a little bit different we're gonna stop wherever we pull the first card <sighs> all right you just see that the three cards that were just shown i'm gonna shuffle really big because the first time i'm using this were the lovers the tower and the sun how intense scorpio leo aries and um gemini energy this is intense the message that i got instantly from that was there some of you guys there's a choice to make you're going to be destroyed because the choice wasn't made the choice wasn't you but then the truth is going to be illuminated to you about who this person is and you're gonna be better off you're gonna be far better off here others of you there's gonna be a tower moment coming in within a connection within a relationship with you and somebody that you've um you put on a pedestal but ultimately again you're being led in the right direction so a lot of you guys there's gonna be tower moments where either things are going to be destroyed um yeah things are gonna be destroyed but it's ultimately for your best it's ultimately because that tower was faulty that tower had you know isn't what's the game jenga i never played it but the one where you build the blocks it's like you're one block away from it completely destructing so you need to rebuild that all right so let's see aries show me what we need to see for aries messages for aries please messages for aries show me what aries needs to see this is a beautiful new deck smell Messages for Aries. All right, the Eight of Swords. So quickly before we start, guys, those of you guys who are interested in a personal reading, the link will be in the description box below. And if you're interested in purchasing um, a question reading, they're on sale for the rest of this month. So one question is 1111, two questions is 2222. And this is actually gonna be the last time I do the question readings. Um, and then in a couple of months, I'm actually just gonna cut them out. I'm only gonna do personal readings. I'm not gonna offer questions anymore. So just a heads up for you guys. Um, but we have the Eight of Swords here. So feeling tied, feeling tied when it comes to, for some of you, when it comes to what move to make, may even be what direction to take. For some of you guys, this is related to um, your relationship and you're unsure, like, hmm, okay. So some of you, it's not in your hands. The choice is not in your hands. The decision is not in your hands. You've done all you need to do. You've done all you've done. You've done all you can do. And it's now up to the person to decide whether they want to be with you, whether they're going to choose you whether they want to take this to the next level. We have be spontaneous and feelings. So some of you guys are um, feeling like you're choking when it comes to expressing your feelings. You're having a hard time expressing your feelings to somebody here. You do not really, um, oh, some of you guys are definitely in love and you're having a hard time. Some of you, this is due to your childhood, maybe not having enough love in the home in your home maybe growing up in a very intense you know environment i do think that that's one thing that a lot of aries and scorpios have in common um some of you guys if that's the case you really need to go back in and you know take a deep look at how you can heal from the past how can you release the past some of you guys need to go back into your subconscious there are meditations for subconscious um blockage removals some of you guys may need to do some of those you can even find those on youtube here 
be spontaneous here so for some of you guys well we also have uh communication here so feelings and communication here some of you guys are needing to communicate your feelings some of you the moment that you communicate your feelings there's going to be a huge weight lifted off your chest but if it's not feelings for some of you it's just speaking up some of you this is related to work and you're really needing to speak up you're needing to stand your ground some of you, there's a secret that you're aware of and you feel like you need to tell somebody, but you can't tell somebody. This may be because of the fact that maybe you're very close with the person whose secret this is. It's almost like it would be the wrong thing to do because of your because of your closeness with the person um, whose secret this belongs to, but it would be the right thing to do for some of you I'm hearing legally. Um... Others of you, this is just, you know, when it comes to your values, it would be the right thing to do. You're having a hard time. You're having to choose what is the right thing to do here. You need to trust your intuition related to the situation because this is an energy where you already know the answers. The answers are already within you, but you maybe don't want the answer to be what it is, right? So this is kind of you keeping yourself stuck, keeping yourself stagnant, possibly trying to think of a way out of it, trying to think of a way around it. I'm hearing there's no way around it. You have to go straight through it. Some of you are needing to be a little bit more spontaneous in your life. You're maybe taking things a little bit too seriously and you're being called to be more spontaneous. You're being called to, you know, put yourself out there. And, you know, I always find Aries are pretty spontaneous. So if you're not spontaneous, then maybe there's really something going on. Maybe you are really stressed. It could even be due to everything that's going on right now. Some of you guys, this could even be due to financial reasons. But if you are feeling like you're not out like you're not um your normal self you're needing to do little things to get back into that groove that you were in you're definitely needing to be more spontaneous go out and do little things some of you this is being more spontaneous within your relationship within your connection especially if you found yourself in a rut with the person that you're dealing with during um quarantine especially if you felt like you were questioning your relationship it's like you guys need to start acting the way that you did in the beginning of the relationship for some of you i'm hearing you guys need to be intimate outdoors you need to switch it up in the bedroom spice things up things are getting boring things are getting um some of you you got into a relationship with somebody who or you're seeing somebody and it kind of got to the point where you guys became a married couple very quickly you might not even be in a committed relationship yet and all of a sudden it seems like you guys have and it may not be boring, but it seems like you guys became comfortable a little bit too quickly and you're needing to spice that up because you guys will end up getting bored of one another. Aries, you will end up getting bored of this person. So for the cross watchers, you definitely need to be a little bit more spicy, especially if you're a Taurus. You need to be a little bit more spicy um, with your Aries lover. All right, for the Wheel of Fortune here. Definitely things are really going to take a turn for the best. Um, so I'm not, I shuffled the one time. This is kind of what I felt like doing with Cancer's reading. It just came to me as I was doing the reading. So I'm just going to do them for the whole week. So I shuffle. Whoever it stops, that's where I pull until the reading's done. So Wheel of Fortune. With the Wheel of Fortune, it looks like things are definitely going to take a turn. Once you express your feelings, that's all you need to do. Once you express your feelings, things are going to turn in the right direction. A lot of you guys are in a connection with a lover that is somebody that is going to be a huge part of your life here. A lot of you, this is your career. Things are really, it's like you felt stuck. Whatever was holding you back, whatever fears you have, once you take a step out of that, everything you've ever wanted starts to come towards you. And it's really like, what's that thing called? Um, a ripple effect? The domino effect domino effect all you have to do is take that one step and then everything starts to unravel for you it's really that simple but before you do it it doesn't seem that simple right some of you have your partner or your soul tribe waiting for you on the other side these are people that are going to be in your life for a very long time people have, that have been in your past life that are, you're meant to come into alignment with right now. For some of you, one of them is going to be, I'm hearing you're either gonna get a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius or a Leo. A Taurus, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, or a Leo. 
So let's see. We have the Queen of Swords. And underneath the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Cups here, you guys. So for some of you, there definitely is a choice between two people. For some of you, you're finding out a secret and you're trying to choose who you have to be when um, talking to this person or when letting this person know that you know their secret. Are you going to be the Queen of Cups and go towards them lovingly or are you going to be the Queen of Swords and be real, uh, realistic and cut through with this individual? Get straight to the facts, right? It's like that mom. Some of you, this is probably related to your kids. For those of you that have children, this could easily be trying to decide, you know, when to put that fun mom cap on and when to be the strict parent mom. Because you can't always be one, right? I definitely feel like those of you that have children, um, especially if things haven't been going the best, things are going to pick up. Things are absolutely going to pick up between you and your children here. Those of you where there is a choice between two, I don't see this person choosing you. I see this person is going to choose somebody else, but I see that this is going to help you to realize your worth and to realize that you should not be with somebody who sees you as a choice. You are not a choice. You are not an option. You are a beautiful, handsome, strong, independent Aries. And you are first. You are first. You literally are the first. And you don't like to come second. You like to be first. So who is this person that made you feel like you were an option? Who made you accept the possibility that you would be an option? No, it's time to step back into that throne, claim your crown. All right, I'm gonna pull some of these cards and we're gonna get some messages related to your relationship. It's kind of just a free for all, whatever I feel. I have like so many decks like at least 25 decks on my desk right now and i'm just grabbing whatever feels it's complicated many external factors are complicating this relationship making it difficult to take things to the next level for some of you this is the moments leading up to the tower right it's that oh my intuition told me this but i didn't listen my intuition told me this but i didn't listen and then bam the tower moment i should have listened I'm hearing it shouldn't be this complicated it shouldn't be this complicated communication is a huge factor some of you guys just are not communicating and it's been so long and you still haven't been able to communicate especially if this has been three years or more it's time to let this relationship go oh okay that's too many messages for aries messages for aries Playing the field. Somebody is not ready to settle down. Too much fun playing the field. Just be careful with your sexuality. So be very careful about who it is that you are being intimate with here because some of you are dealing with somebody who's playing the field. And that's fine if they're playing the field if you're not in a committed relationship. But I don't think this person is playing it safe. There's a, there's a difference between playing the field and being safe and being smart and having respect for the other people that you are with while you're playing the field. So some of you definitely have to be very careful with the people that you're being intimate with around this time. Others of you, the reason why it's so complicated is because some of you are dealing with somebody that has a family somewhere else. Some of you are dealing with somebody that has someone somewhere else. Some of you are dealing with somebody who's actually living with somebody and you had no idea. You knew something was up, but you never would have imagined that it could have been something this intense. I'm like at this point, it's like you're not phased because I'm not really phased throughout this reading. So and I feel like you're not phased at this point. It's just like for some of you, this is really your turning point where like you're not sad anymore. You're not going to cry anymore. You're just going to be like, hey, things got to change. Something's got to give. Something's got to change. I keep getting into these situations. I keep attracting these people. And obviously, you know, at some point it can't just be them. There has to be something within me that I need to focus on that I need to work on, you know, so that I can attract the right individual. star-crossed lovers both of you want to be together but you feel the stars are working against you perhaps it's bad timing look at that look at that that tower moment that i told you is coming that intense tower moment that's coming you guys 
I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? Some of you guys have been thinking of this for a very long time. You know, I did this spread because <laughs> I really thought it was going to be a very sweet, lovey-dovey spread. And I did Cancer's, I did yours, and the, the, it's just not the greatest. Hopefully next week we'll get something more romantic. Because that's kind of the mood I was feeling today. But, you know, this is obviously what you guys need to hear the most. But star-crossed lovers, yeah. It's just not right. No matter how, you both want it so badly though. So you keep pushing. You keep pushing. This could even be the devil energy where you feel tied to one another. But at the end of the day, if it's not meant to be, it's not going to be. And there's nothing you can do about it. Emotional affair. It will be hard to resist an emotional connection with somebody who is already involved. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely having an emotional affair uh some of you guys may be having an emotional affair with somebody that you work with others of you guys may just be having an emotional affair with um somebody that you might have had a past with but there's definitely this energy of an emotional affair that you're having because you know there's so much going on somebody that you might have even went to this could even be a friend right where it kind of turned into something more because you kept going to them for help related to your relationship so maybe the problem is that you or the person you're dealing with go towards everybody except each other when it comes to the relationship. All right, I need to see some unspoken words for this connection. And then we're going to end the reading. Anybody who wants a personal reading, the link's in the description box below. For those of you guys who are interested in following me on my personal account, it is for those of you that are interested in starting a business, a YouTube a YouTube channel or want help motivating you towards starting a business or a YouTube channel. I'm going to be taking you guys through the process of me starting my business and YouTube channel. Just give me a second to grab these. Um, so yeah, I'll be taking you guys through the process of me starting my business, starting my YouTube channel. I'll be sharing little clips along. Honestly, you guys, it's been such an intense journey. So the reason why I'm doing this is because if I can take you guys to the point where you can learn a couple steps and save a little bit of time, you know, and save yourself some mistakes that I've made, then by all means, because I'm telling you, I have been crying. There was like moments where I am like having the biggest crying high of like happiness and I can't believe that this is so you know coming together and blah, blah 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 but then there's moments where I just want to give up and I just want to cry myself to sleep and it's just like it is an emotional roller coaster starting a business especially when it comes to products it's so different than services I read something that said start with service and let me tell you start with a service because products are a lot more intense um, especially like if you're somebody like me, I can be quite a perfectionist, but yeah, so that will be very informative for you guys. And even if you just want to know a little bit more about my story or me personally, and one thing I will be doing is once a month, I will be doing a giveaway over there. It is going to be for a tarot reading. It's going to be a 30 minute live tarot reading, and it is going to be for finances and career. So it's going to be a finance career slash life coach. So pretty much we're going to be planning your business or um, you know, looking at the steps that you need to take, looking at your blockages, how you can remove them, or we're going, well, I'm gonna actually like create a certain finance and career spread for that one. And then there's a couple of things that you could choose from. So you could choose one that you wanna mainly focus on up to three. And that is the spread that I will be giving out for um, a giveaway for those of you that are following that channel. Don't follow the channel just for the giveaway because that's pointless when I have free giveaways. If you follow me here, there's other giveaways on my Instagram for this, but follow it if you actually feel guided to, if you actually feel like that information is going to help you because I want to build a tight community there with people that, you know, are very like-minded to me. All right, guys, so let's see. <laughs> I'm shit with words. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. I really strongly feel Taurus energy here. They are not good at expressing how they feel. Communication is the worst thing when it comes to this. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. That's how this person gets. They almost feel like they're going to have a heart attack. They know what they want to say, but whenever they try to say it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
this person was okay this person had childhood trauma for some of you this person had a childhood trauma and they were always shushed they were never able to speak they were never able to use their voice their voice never mattered in their household and throughout that they might have even gotten beaten as a child this is intense the flashes that i just had i almost like got sick um and that's why this person some of you guys may notice there's something weird about this person there's something a little bit off about this person it's because of their childhood they literally have this could be like ptsd or ptsd i don't know exactly what it's called post-traumatic stress some of you you might even have a twitching person you know those people that twitch in their sleep this could definitely be that type of person um I'm pretty sure everybody does that at a certain point in their life though but um yeah there's just some things if you really analyze this person you'll be like there's something off about this person but it's so subtle i see you like i told you what was the first card what was the first card you guys first and the last card spying they are spying they see you some of you you have a secret admirer that is just acting as if you're just an admirer but they're actually madly in love with you some of you have somebody that is madly in love with you those of you that have instagram this person is probably one of the top five to always check your story for the first or they are t they come up top of the list all the time top of the list first one to like your photo whatever it may be they may never speak to you but they're obsessed with you it was such a strong message from yesterday i carried on the same energy of what that message was all right you guys this was supposed to be 15 minutes but i ended up chatting a lot so i do apologize whenever the first reading ends up dragging on every single time i should always do like i don't know something else for the first reading but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you do and you want a personal reading feel free to um purchase one in the description box below i absolutely want to thank you guys so much for all of you guys who purchased readings uh last week last month in general i never had so many aries you guys a lot of you guys did lives and i got to work with you guys one on one and wow they always say that scorpio should have an aries best friend i actually have got why i have one now but um it's so true because i just vibe with you guys in such an amazing way and it was so amazing working with you guys and those of you guys that purchase in the future i'm actually so excited and if you can go towards the live over the pre-recorded because i do love your vibe i really love working with you guys all right guys so take care have a beautiful rest of your evening and if you want to participate in the giveaways you could follow me on instagram in the description box below keep the notification on for the free pop-up reading all right guys take care